Hello guys and welcome to Morabeam. So the next car that we are taking a look at is the H7X which is shown here at the Geneva Motor Show in its production version. Although the name is not final for the Indian market yet, let's take a look at the car. So let's take a look at the front fascia which is very similar to the Harrier in the way the DRLs and the headlamps are set up and even the grille looks rather familiar. There's a silver skid plate on offer and then there are these beautiful looking alloy wheels shot with MRF Wanderer tires. Of course there is body cladding on the side to break the bulk and there is also a dash of chrome to make it look more premium. Here are the mirrors in a dual tone finish and there is very little chrome on the car here as is preferred in the international markets. Here is how it looks from the rear three quarters and I must say that it looks quite nice. It clearly draws inspiration from Land Rover cars and that shows. Tail lights, all LED units. And the fake diffuser at the rear. Let's jump onto the interiors. Seen here in the brown and black dual tone finish they look really rather nice the wood finish is looking very 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 nice let's step in so again a similar digital analog combination display steering wheel which is again borrowed from the Harrier Big infotainment screen looks really nice. And then we have the different driving modes, the six speed gear lever, and the unique handbrake. Then there are these well bolstered seats in a premium leather finish. second row now here you can clearly see that there is adequate space you don't really need more because I am six feet tall and I still have about a arm's hands length remaining here this is how the dashboard looks in completeness The floor hump is also not that prominent, so the fifth passenger wouldn't have too much of an issue sitting here. And as we step out, take a quick look at the JBL tweeters here and the JBL speakers. What is more interesting, however, is the third row seat. So let's take a look at that as well. So there is the third row seat, while the seat in itself looks pretty good, there's not much of space on offer as is expected from a vehicle of this size and segment and these are best left for the kids. Let's also take a look at the boot space with all the three rows up. Again, as is expected, there is very little space with the seats all the way up, but we can fold them down just like that. And then 
the space increases by quite a bit. Coming to the mechanical sides, it is mechanically largely similar to the Harrier but the power plant is supposed to have more power so the Harrier gets about 140 horsepower and we expect the H7X to get close to 170 horsepower. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like the video, comment down below of what you think about the H7X and make sure you subscribe to the Motorbeam channel. Ciao!